And Richard's wife, Mindy Hammond, joins us now. Hello, Mindy. Um, Thank you. Ten years ago this year, that was, which was shocking, actually, because even watching that again, it just seemed like it's, yes, it, it, it really yeah, did. Yeah. It, we were all shocked. And for me, working in TV, you never expect anything to really happen when you're doing a TV thing because yeah, all the yeah. boxes are ticked, all the safety yeah. mechanisms fall into place. And as much as you were always frightened, you, you, you were sort of feeling slightly safe that he was in good hands. Yeah, I did. you never thought it would happen, really, genuinely. You just thought, oh, well, he's off to work. And I didn't, I'd never really asked him what he was doing. Mm. He just went to work and he did it. And, uh, yeah, it was huge. You just... Where were you when you got that phone call to say that he'd had the accident? I was getting on a horse. I wish you. <laughs> yeah. Um... And the phone rang and... Well, no, the worst thing was where I was, there was no phone signal. And somehow we had this wonderful um, au pair who worked for us and she somehow found the yard and got somebody to get me. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Because I, I remember reading a lot of the reports that you were actually in the car, obviously in a blind panic, I should mm. think, and driving when you heard extra news yeah, on the yeah. radio. So what was that? I didn't actually know the details of the accident. And when I was driving, it came on the radio that he'd flipped and rolled in this car. And I thought, oh, my you know, I, I knew he had an accident. I, I had no how idea. It was. No. And then what happened when you got to the hospital and saw the state that he was in? Well, the, I know it sounds mad because he was, you know, plugged into everything on life yeah. support and all this. And I walked in and he had a cling on. Well, he looked like a cling on. He had this huge <laughs> thing here. <laughs> yes. And he's just lying there. And I walked in and I just thought, oh, that's fine. I just looked at him. I thought, do you know what? You'll be fine. Because he's so tough. Yeah. And one glance at him, I thought, oh, do you know what? If anybody can come back from this, he will. And he, he is. Did. I mean, he's a small guy, um, but, he is, but he is tough. He's feisty. And, yeah, he is. He's feisty, and that's why yeah. everybody loves him. But yeah. you apparently had a sort of a bit of a sixth sense, didn't you, before he sort of had problems with his temper and things like that after? Yeah, that, it's, it's sort of part of the recovery process that they, they sort of struggle people with brain injury, with emotions and things. And he would, he would sometimes sense that, oh, you know, I, I, something's building. Yeah, was yeah. he still in the hospital? No, then? this was at home. This okay. was some months But in later. hospital, didn't you have to shout at him at one point? Too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, you were he, angry with him. Yeah. Well, no, he had a wobble. Oh, and all, all the doctors were looking at everything, and everybody was starting to get a bit worried. And they do these obs where they sort of pinch them or try and get a response. Mm. Nothing was happening. And I looked at her and I thought, this isn't good. And I said, what's happening? I said, is there anything I can do? And she said, if you can think of anything, do it. And I said, well, I could shout at him, because I never shouted at him. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, go on. I said, but I might wake everybody up. You know, I was really worried yeah, yeah. in a sense. She said, no, do it. So I went, like, and I swore a bit. And he actually did Respond come to, back. Yeah. And he remembered that when he came round. Really? And he said, I remember I was checking out. And he was walking in his mind through the Lake District, his favourite place in the world. And he remembered hearing me shout and thinking, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Because Mindy's yeah, shouting at him. Yeah. Yeah. It was touch and go. I mean, he was given it, a 50 50 no, chance was. of surviving. And then maybe he would have had brain damage, they were saying. Yeah, you, just, you don't know. And that's the hardest thing with brain injury. Every single person is different. And, and the also, temperament changed quite a lot, too, doesn't it? Yeah. In terms of yeah. mood swings and yeah. anger and yeah, yeah. a lot of emotions, really. Yeah. And just, you know, being stroppier than normal. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing is, just briefly, I remember watching him on TV sort of when he was able to go back and do that. And there was a kind of a, not, I don't mean a vacancy, but a step back as if he wasn't quite 100% there. No. Would that be a fair yeah. assessment or not? Yeah, he, he, yeah. It, the, the, he had to go back to work because to know you're getting better, you have to go back to normal life. Mm. And normally people would go for a couple of days in the office or whatever, but he, it's all or nothing, isn't it? Mm, so yeah. was that, was that nerve wracking for you? I mean, after everything yeah. that had happened yeah. and then you did know um, yeah. what could happen. That must have been that him leaving the door that day, shutting the front door. You must have been like, oh, are we mad? Well, but yeah. When they went to, to, to some of the, you know, the filming trips abroad that were really, you know, quite extreme. And I was thinking, He's going to be fine, he's going to be fine, he's going to... Mm. And everybody around him, actually, was so supportive. Yeah. They were incredible. And we choreographed... Choreo choreographed. choreographed. That's, <laughs> the one. That's the one, yeah. The whole sort of route back, but he didn't know. So, mm. as far as he was concerned, it was like... It was... Yeah. Well, he, he calls you his superhero. Mm. Clearly adores Mindy for Love. obvious reasons. And he has a little message for you if you what? want to watch this. Oh. <laughs>
Hello Mindy, good luck on Loose Women today. You'll be brilliant, I've no doubt. The most capable woman I know. Beautiful, of course, funny, clever. You've made an incredible job raising our two beautiful, wonderful daughters, Izzy and Willow. And you've put up with me through the highs and the lows, of which there have been many. Perfection, pretty much in every way. I mean, tidiness, not so good. <laughs> Never being on time for anything ever. You're probably not even there. Already. But in every other way, perfection, and I love you. Good luck. Oh, oh, I'll be back doing it again. I know. Exactly, back doing the grand tour, but all is well. It's lovely to see you, Mindy. Thank, Thank you so much, me. Mindy Hammond. <laughs> We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really.